Hello everybody, welcome to the video today. Back in iRacing once again for some more Red Pepper Racing League. The 488 GTE fix setups here at the Roval, Charlotte Roval for this week's race. 45 minute race, usual refuel, no tyres required shenaniganry. Um, having to actually do a rolling start this time, like these cars usually do because of the way I'm assuming it must be the way that the Roval is set up. It's kind of a bit not ideal to do standing starts because it's a chicane on the start finish line basically. So, so yeah, so having to do rolling starts this week, but we just what these cars are designed to do anyway. So, yeah, so hopefully we can get a, a nice clean start and then survive. It's basically all this is going to be is just survive because it's this chicane basically because that chicane right there. It's so easy to go too deep and just absolutely murder yourself. Um, yeah. Anyway, should be interesting. Something different. Something different. GTs around here is a bit of an experience, but good fun. I um, wouldn't want to take anything else more than this. The HPDs around here would be absolutely crazy. But anyway, but either way. Get ready. Going green. Getting ready to go. Qualified ninth. Um, as per usual, jumping in. You know, pretty much as qualifying started, so pace should improve as the race goes the on, theoretically. In. She must survive more than one lap, but let's see how we go. Green, green, green! There we go, went green a bit earlier than I thought it would, but it's alright, we're all pretty tentative, I think. Oh, oh. Go left. Oh, there's been a pun already. Oh no, someone's gone. That is death. Everyone has died. Oh man, oh Christopher is just given the old hip and shoulder by the, the looks of it. And there's a the yellow. Wow. Well, saw that happen right in front of me. I don't, I'm assuming Christopher didn't mean it. I'm assuming he just went a bit too deep and accidentally hip and shoulder Dave into the wall there. But either way, <laughs> there you go. And already, shenanigans in your shoe. The Roval tends to do that, so... Good thing with the series though, of course, there's... As you look at the fast repairs, there's infinity fast repairs, so... Those who are damaged will be able to... Should be, as long as they can limp around, will be able to get back, repair, and still be in the game, so... There you go there, that was, um... Yeah. <laughs> Lucky we dodged that, but either way... Racing in the night here too, as well, is, hasn't clear yet, and the sunset coming up on 6 o'clock local time, yeah, oh sorry, coming up on 8 o'clock local time in game, so heading into the evening once again, so we'll get to see um, a nice pretty sunset here at Charlotte, should be good, but I guess, as per usual when your caution is pop up, I guess I'll, I guess I'll uh, see you guys at the, on the other side of this caution when we go back to Green Flag Racing. Alrighty, getting ready to go back to Green Flag Racing here. Going to effectively be about a 38 minute race, effectively. Um, being under caution for the first five or so. Uh, did obviously gain a spot from the instant ahead of us. Um, not, you're not going crazy as well. The HUD has gotten a little bigger. I just increased the size because it was a little bit too small there, I noticed, on the start. Um, so yeah, basically back to normal, essentially. Single file restart, thank goodness. Not doing the whole side-by-side -side stuff, so that's going to help. But so yeah, hopefully now we can get into this one and see what we can do. Um, I have to go back on the replay and see how many green. people got killed and that are affected because I'm sure it would have been bad because it effectively pinballed back across in front of the, everybody. So here we go though. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Alright, a bit slow there to get going, but it's alright, everyone just wanting to get underway, I think. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, 
gonna be a pretty intense this race, and a lot of a break around here in a car of this speed on a short sort of track like this, so gonna be an intense one. So just wanna survive through there every time for now. I'm gonna be a little bit tentative, I think. Lose time, but I prefer to lose time and not die than push it too hard and blow up. Oh, Christopher's gone way too deep. Left side, still there. Oh, this is awkward. Stay on the right. Oh, don't do to me what you did to David, please. To the right. oh. Clear. Okay, he's a bit on the aggressive side. Good to note. Should have probably cleared him, but I just didn't know where he was going to go there. slow down too much there. Oh, excuse me. So as I said again, I'm going to be a bit tentative through there in these early laps. Warren and Martin getting into each other ahead of us. Wow, Warren's car is stuffed up. He's hit a curb too hard somewhere, I think. He's got no speed at all. Oh, line all sorts are wrong. That corner, it's so easy to get the line wrong. It again. Go left. Go right. Oh man, <laughs> he's just got absolutely murdered. And that's exactly what I did in qualifying twice though, did the exact same thing. Christopher's going to be stuffed up here too, so have to be a bit careful. This car's not going to be good. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Yeah, done. He's got no top end until he's pits. The damage he'll have on the front end. Alright, let's get out of here. Six now, though.
because that's terrible. Looks like Guy's had an instant somewhere too, because he's got no speed right now. I think he must have whacked a curb too. Wow, yeah, he's got nothing. Holy cow. Car on your left. Clear on the left. That's another freebie, so it's up to P5 now. Now you can see the top bunch have already buggered off down the road. Spotter. The pit window has opened by the looks of it. Obviously a bit earlier now thanks to that start behind the safety car. Only about 11 litres according to JRC, so a pretty short little stop. Set it up now so it's ready to go. As I say, I'm going to be a bit tentative through there, I think. The whole race, just because so I'd much prefer play it safe and be alive than push it too far and blow up. happens after the pit stop and guy presumably repairs the damage and starts coming back at us, see what happens there. As I said, pit window is open according to my JRT, so I would have thought he'd come in as soon as to get that repaired. So that he's has indeed pitted, seen that it's open and gone in. So we should see where he pops out after all this.
understeer on the Rover was so real on the Oval, I should say. kind of slipped into our little zone here in P5 it seems the top four are a little bit too quick for us but we're quicker than the rest so we're in this sort of little middle of nowhere kind of zone Always, you always pucker up a bit going through the chicane every time. And you can just bash the curbs so much in the Ferrari. Wouldn't really be able to do that in the Porsche and definitely not the Ford. In fact, I think the Ford around here would be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd like to do it. Starting to take hold as we go into the evening here. Charlotte. Car right. Clear. That's uh, off track. Got so much time there on the entry of the rival. I feel like I always keep getting it wrong. <laughs> Someone's gone. So Richard's had an instant, I think he might have spun. 
done the old too much commitment through the chicane. Straight in box of it, yeah. If he's got damage, he would be. So the one advantage you've now got, if you have an instant there, as long as you can recover it in relative time, You're relative to the quick position. time, um, you might not lose too much because you're in the pit window now, so you can pop in, fast repair, fuel, and lose not too much time if you play your cards right. So. Only disadvantage really is you might come out in traffic, and that's about the, the main sort of thing there. Starting to get the double right nailed down, which is good. Oh, Martin slowed suddenly. I wonder if he had an instant somewhere. So with the key, really, if you just keep alive, you're probably going to get a good result because it's such a unforgiving sort of track. So make sure I don't fall victim to it. Oh, that was a nice run through there. Very nice. Well, that was good through the last chicane too. You did it just right. Stop on oh, the right. That car, quite excited. Go left. Oh, he's hit the wall hard, so. Slow car ahead, car stopped ahead. Another lap car left. gone. on the fuel. Oh, it's slow through the chicane that time. It's alright. Oh, sorry, the bus stop I should say. Looks like Mark might be in. Somehow I didn't do it, didn't do a pit entry practice. Oops. <laughs> so, that's going to be an interesting pit entry, but anyway. I think he might have had damage too, so... You're now in third. Puts us to third, not effective, but that's fine. So I was drawing the wall there. had some issues there, I think he was just behind us before. This is where that survival comes in. We're in a track like this and cars like this. Pretty 
big factor. discovered I have the light flash set, or a light flash button set on the Ferrari, so there you go, I can flash people that I didn't realise, so <laughs> there's a nice advantage. Oh, big air that time, a bit too much, but it's alright. You've got a slow car on the left. You've got a slow oh, car Death, we've got another dead lap car. So it's recovered. Not too passive on the straight there. You've got about five laps of fuel. Spot up confirming that laps have got. Pauls popped in the pits and 
done his stop. Oh, understeer city. Four or five laps to go till we stop. The lead is pitting now. Go soon though, just because we're going to start getting caught up in traffic. Okay, you're in second. Fun though around this track, this car. Apologies for again You're in being a little quieter maybe this video, just lots of concentration to dance these things around here. Well, they actually end up being an okay run. It's just such a difficult one, that one. Yeah, we've got fuel, tyres, good to go. I'm going to be guessing the pedentry so much, but it's fine. Way too passive, but it's okay. <laughs> Leaders, no tyres, we are good to go. Yes, Martin, so Martin will easily beat us, as I think he should, I'm pretty sure, is well ahead of us. Anyway. Richard out quite nicely though, so that's good. Oh, 
Wait. Wait. <laughs> That's my breaking point a bit there. It's alright, we've got away with it. So I think we're up to P4, I'm pretty sure. So P4 and only just blind mountain, so maybe a podium chance. So we don't have long though, we've only got about six, seven laps to do it. So I don't know if it's possible. We'll try. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> that's genuinely just done that, that's a bit Hopefully that's hopefully that's net coke, so that's actually happened. On the left. Someone's died. Not the car I think. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. Wow, really? That's that's interesting. But okay. IR gonna IR I suppose. Yeah, wow, this thing's not not as per car on your left. Something very wrong. The left. Here you go. Wow, that's yeah. Wow, this thing was a bit a bit stuffed up. That's not really what we wanted. We could have probably chased down Martin, but that's weird. I'm pretty sure I've hit that more or less just like that all race long. And apparently now <laughs> the, game, the sim went. You know what? Now you're gonna get damage from it. So go figure. But anyway, yeah, we're definitely down pace pretty badly. Looks like Martin is too, but. That's a shame. Anyway, not much you can do about it. Bizarre circumstance there, because as I say, I swear... Oh... <laughs> oh, man. Slipstream's going to help me out here. Oh, man. She's a bit... A bit stuffed up right now. Martin's definitely got damage, I think, because he's not really getting away, which tells me if I hadn't have hit that, we may have actually had a chance of getting him. Left side. Clear on the left. That's alright though. Not much we can do about it. Well, that's a bit of a, a bit of a shame of ending, a bit of a downer, but that's alright. As I say, not much I can really do, because I could have sworn I hit that curbing the same time, same way. Probably a Probably almost every lap, really, and no, nothing happened. And all of a sudden, right it's just side. gone. Clear on the right. It's gone. You know what? <laughs> this time, I'm going to murder your car if you don't mind. Very interesting. Anyway, we'll keep going. Bring it home. Still be a fourth, though. Still be a nice result. Been a good race, other than that. It's pretty much the only little beach on on my race, but all G, part of the deal. Definitely down though on speed. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it just doesn't quite feel the same. I think we're down on speed slightly. It's alright. Keep pushing anyway. Just like that, I swear that's the exact way I've been hitting the curb all race long. And for whatever reason, I decided this one time was gonna gonna whack it. But anyway, didn't even get a zero a zero times contact for that. Nothing, just sudden damage. But anyway, that was a bit of a better lap anyway. Still with the damage, so still some pace there, but it's just lost that edge. Lost a little bit of top end. It just isn't quite as stable through the corners. Probably been a good time to get a screenshot too, so that's a shame. <laughs> anyway. Now I've seen, um, I think it was actually old Tyson Meyer, quirk tyzed 
had a similar sort of thing, although it was even more bizarre. And, um, excuse me, it rode Atlanta with the, with the Formula Renault 3.5s when they were there a few weeks back. Whoops, I forgot what corner I was entering there for a second. Um, yeah, similar sort of thing, he just was going along, and then little sort of where it all dips down the hill, down towards the final sweeping corner, and literally hit nothing, and suddenly had damage. Oh no, Martin's in, wow, okay. Unless it was fuel, maybe took too little fuel, that's what it was. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Bit too much curb. Oh, well, there you go, alright, that's, uh, that's that then. Get so, back in third, keep hustling. Get the podium anyway, so it won't really matter. Alright, uh, well, that makes me feel a little bit better, knowing that it doesn't really matter with the damage, I was still going to get third anyway. We certainly weren't going to get, gonna get any better than that. Third was the best it was going to be. Yeah, leaders are well ahead. Whether I had the damage or not, I was going to get them, so. It's fine with me, so there you go. Good fun race though in the end. Kept on our toes, just because it's Charlotte Robel, mostly more than anything else. Oh man, it's slow, that's right. Right side, clear on the right. Oh, someone died up ahead. Probably a lap car. As I said, just like that, I swear I hit the corner. It just keeps, that's what keeps baffling me. I swear I hit it like that every single time. And at one time, I went, you know what? I'm going to give you damage. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Logic eye racing. Anyway, all good. On to the white flag. Tell you what, that was one of the quicker 45 minute races I've, ever, I've done in a while, I think. This is the way this, this, this track is. It just, it's just full on. It's just constant. You just don't get a break. You're always on your toes. So, time passes very, very quickly, whether you're battling someone, whether you're on your own. doesn't matter, it just flies, because it's, it's so in your face. Especially, as I say, in a car like this, that really is probably a, possibly a little bit too fast for this sort of track. But, still good fun, though. I'm still having a good time here. Certainly, as I say, I don't think I'd want to take the Ford around here. The Porker might be okay, but I think the Ford would be a bit mm, around here. But, <laughs> I wouldn't want to take anything more powerful than these things, HPD or even the DP it probably would be, yeah, a bit too much for a track like this, but there we go. There we go, just not die here. Oh, on the someone's left. died ahead right. of me. I'm going to be fine, alright. Cool, cool, cool. And there you have it. There you have it. And Craig getting the doughies in for the win. All right, there's the checkered flag. There you have it. Great job, you did really well. Back in RPR for another run. Once again, timetable lining up to be able to have another, another lob in the league. And uh, yeah, good fun at Charlotte. Um, as I say, full on track. Done a couple of different cars now. Um, it's been full on in every single one of them. Um, but yeah, good fun, good fun. I think we came from ninth to third, something like that, so. Yeah, solid, fun race. So, hope that reflected for you guys watching. So, again, thank you very much for watching the video as per normal. And, yeah, until next time, bye for now.